including sailors, friends of sailors, families of sailors, and just loyal fans of the Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday Night Racing. Hi, I'm Ashley Lowe from T2P TV, and joining me from behind the camera, as always, our producer, Bruce Nairn. We have four races in the bag, which means a drop was factored in last week. There are some clear standouts, but the J80s, Hairshop 12 and a halfs, and J105s are awfully close for their top three podium positions. Only two races are left before we kick off series two. Here they come, ORC won the biggest boats of the night to their starting line. They have about 10 seconds left, and this must be a record for how many boats have come out so far this year. Ooh, we have some uh -oh. pinned out boats. Oh, Didn't got make shut it. out at the boat. They're gonna have to spin around. So is, ooh, endorphins pretty tight there. Mamzelle is gonna get shut out too. They're our class leader, that's incredible. With the southeasterly, we have a long course tonight. Yes. This looks a little high. Calavela 2, Tapio Salvinian is really pushing it here. We have 30 seconds left though. Maybe you can create some space on starboard. Mm -hmm. Plenty of space at the end this time. No one over early. QA2 choosing the pin with owner Norm Olsen aboard with them tonight. Who doesn't love almost 30 big boats, all one design, battling for the same line. Oh, look at this. Crescendo has started, started early. Relentless was over. They are rounding down. Look at, look at Firebrand sneak in there. Chessie, Velvet Hammer, they all started a minute early. That's going to be a long list of boats over early. Wow, Bruce, too many boats were over and they general recalled. When's the last time they've done that? You know, I just, fire, Firebrand has to be disappointed in that because they snuck into the boat. They actually nailed that start. I but... know. Moving to the inside course, the Harbor 20 White Fleet is around their top windward mark. It's Garth Kitchen Sugar. Lend me some sugar, I am your neighbor. In second place, 704 Despacito. Jose and Chrissy Fuentes coming from the Etchell's fleet. And in third at the helm, Pam Corwin on last hurrah. outer course the j30s are about to start and bump is dangerously close to being over and are they on port looks like port oh they must have been over they give that over. start to maybe cannonball sail number 90 they are leading this division going into the race valhalla just to their word
for you, Solomon. Cannonball looking pretty good here. They got everyone up on the rail now. The big Jenniker is happy. The Jenniker? It's a Genoa. Genoa. They barely even need a main today. The ORC1 class has gone around most of their marks and they have a long upwind to get out to R2. With a lot of current, ORC1 leaves some breathing room on the top mark. Endorphin, the FAR 400 is around first. Noisy. But, yeah, but Ramrod, the IC37, is mere seconds behind. The J121, also very close. Time on distance, they are rocking it. But it'll be a different story downwind. Time machine with Nathan Thompson on the bow, getting the pole out. It is the serious swells out here coming from this southeasterly are incredible. And we have a lot of sea state left over from the Blue Angels show today as well. Lots of boats out here. C2 follows in their footsteps. This is Starbird, Frank Martien, a Tartan 101. Moving back towards home, the J105s have gotten their start off and that mixes them in with the Cal 25s and the Allberg 30s. Wow. I don't know about being chased down by this crowd. Right, they are gonna That's swallow gonna hurt. them up. Mayhem Duck Striker is in the lead for the 105s. Finding their way through We're the fleet. Bob. Wow, Endorphin finds a way through. That's miraculous. Perfect night for all of this, Ashley. Oh, incredible. You got the swells out in the ocean, type bay, you got the current of this river, and they're about to go into the mooring field. Around the Nun, our first sonar is around. Sail number two, John Harris. Funny that. Pretty close behind, David Hagler and Jeff White. Second sonar around. Now here is something entertaining. James Reed on Boxing Day is double-handing his etchels tonight. That's a pretty great drop for having only one crew member tonight. Bravo. The first boats in ORC1 rounded a little while ago with the FAR 400 making up a little bit more time on the IC37. The rest of ORC1 files around. 
I see, I don't really remember the weather being this good for a series. Ah, it it's is. It's just been perfect. It's perfect. I love when all the fleets get all jumbled up. And the first to finish. Already on their way back home. There are some tacks left to do in this mooring field and they're all looking out for that second, third, and first street puff. Close call in the harbor, Ashley. Whoa, that was Quite close, Zool, after being shut out at the mark, has made up a lot of time on the ORC-1 fleet. It's always tough to tell who's won across the line, but Flying Jenny had some great runs there and is one of our newest boats out here tonight. Never a dull moment out here on an Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday night. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you're watching this and you're out here racing, send us intel because we look for the boats that we know something to say about. Thank you so much, Bruce Nairn, the Boatyard Bar and Grill, the Annapolis Yacht Club. We'll see you next week.